As we are stuck in our homes, I thought we would use a few quick and easy lunch ideas. Now everything has to be prepared from scratch, as you will see from my first episode. All the best and keep safe. This is just a quickie. Um, once again, we went to Tesco today, discovered that there was nothing left, pasta wise, fresh pasta wise, except a meal deal. And uh, this is just to show you what you can do with something that's already made up with the, and obviously the chicken we had last night, Susan scraped off the bits and pieces. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is put this in a bowl. Makes a wee chicken lunch with uh, pasta. So here we go, we just stick in the chicken. It's as simple as that. And uh, what we do now is give it a quick stir, just to mix it through. Just mixing it through, that's all you need to do. Simple as that. That's your, your lunch made up for you, the kids, and uh, obviously your man. The proof of the pudding, of course, is in the eating. Delicious. Obviously when you're in the kitchen of mine, you can't be too careful. Wash your hands every time you do anything or touch raw food, even eggshells, I wash my hands. <laughs> Welcome back to One Robin Cook. Today we're going to make croissants and scrambled egg. This is a lovely lunch we used to have uh, in the Dandelion Cafe, myself and Susan. And that's what we make for our lunch. So first things first, put on the... Oops, is it? Now my, my croissants, the best croissants in Glasgow are Lidl. And they, the home bake in Lidl, fantastic. First thing you want to do is a knob of butter, salted butter, into the pan. Obviously it's starting to melt. And uh, what we're going to do first is crack open the eggs. Looks an almighty big knife for eggs, but I can assure you, it's the best way to chop an egg. Gets the weight behind the, the, the chop. You just don't do it too, too hard. You end up with any fingers. So that's another one, two. Now it's two eggs per person. Here we go, one, two, three. One more. Oh, one more, and that's it. Righty ho! So that's almost the butter disappeared now. Now, obviously, you can see it from the overhead camera. I'll just wrap that around a wee bit. And obviously, what you're going to do is add the milk to your. Put that over there just now. Add the milk to your process, and that's uh, 60 ml of whole cream milk. Yeah. Now start to mix it through. Just make sure you break down the yolk. That's what that's you really need to do. Then what to do is once you've done that, just into a pan, like so. There we go. And then basically what, what, what we do is we basically swish this about until such times as it starts to take effect. And it's starting to take effect now. What I tend to do is maybe put the heat up a wee bit maybe up to seven from six. While that's taking place, I'm going to saute my, my tomatoes. Once again, marvellous tomatoes from Lidl. You can't beat it. Absolutely brilliant. I'll just get my cutting board out. Although this is a chopping board, I tend to use a, a, another chopping board like this. A wee bit of contrast. And uh, get my wee knife out here. Yep, one. Two, three, and four. Now the other thing we do is we put a bit of flora in, in this wee pan here, just to give it a wee, wee starter for six. And uh, then we put these in. There we go. Fantastic. And now obviously just be careful of uh, getting your... See that is what I'm normal instead. <laughs> oh dear goodness. Fantastic. So 
And now, the best bit of the process, you've got to be very careful here, is to chop your, your croissant. And there we go, that's all you need to do. Put it back in your plate. And then basically, if I get the right tool out of the drawer here, scoop out your egg into the croissant. Then Bob's your uncle. There we go, look at that. Fantastic. And then now what we do is we get the <laughs> hold of us. My beast is here once again. Put the heat off all together. One, two, three, one for luck. And there we go. Absolutely fantastic. Now how does it taste? Let's find out. Here we go. Now maybe too much for my mouth. <laughs> I know I've got a big mouth, but this is a bit. Let's, let's give it a go. Brilliant. Welcome to One Only Cook. Today we'll give cook penny pasta with tuna and sweet corn. First of all, you need your pasta, and that's penny pasta. And there's uh, two IKEA cup worths in there. It'll do for what we need. So stick in your pasta. That takes ten minutes, okay? Bring this thing out. Now initially just swish it around and uh, and what you can do while that's happening you can actually do the other side of the which is the, the tuna and sweet corn. So basically you have tuna here, which is one tin of tuna, stick it in here. And uh, what you can do is just get rid of some of the lumps. Just grand. That's good. Don't need it. Okay. Now. And then we have a what size this wee guy. 165 grams worth of uh, green giant um, sweet corn. There we go. In he goes. So there. Now the bit that makes this meal is a wee bit of salad cream, there we go, and a good bit of uh, mayonnaise, there we go, smash them, nine, nine minutes ago. Basically just swish this around as you can see. Now you can add, if you wish, a wee bit of uh, pepper. I don't add salt because there's enough salt within the actual tuna itself. There we go. As you see, easy peasy. Now we've just got another eight minutes to go for the pasta. Just keep giving it a wee swish. Now, some of the chefs in the telly say they like the pasta a la dent. I, I don't like it that way. I, I think basically you get indigestion if it's a la dent, in my opinion. Some say it doesn't, but I like the pasta soft. So you just run it under a cold tap and then you just burn your mouth. Fantastic, that'll do me. Take it across here, there we go. There we go, in there. I'll get it there, here we go. The trick is to put some of this down, you mix it into the bottom first and uh, that means when the pasta goes in, it's not going into nothing and it will soak in all those juices. There we go, pop in, there we go. Then give it a swish. There we go, put the rest of the mixture in. Next 
just a matter of now putting the pasta into the bowls. So, lovely jubbly. Once again, this can feed a family of four. You've got enough uh, mixture there to feed more pollen the wings. Job done. Now how does it taste? Let's give it a try. Let's give it a go. Pro.